the Gambia. The Gambia, the Scorpions, are back for more after their 2021 debut in Cameroon. The Africa Cup of Nations draw that took place in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, on October 12th has pitted coach Tom Sanford and his team against title holders in Senegal, Group C, which also features Cameroon and Guinea. All four teams advanced from the group stage in the AFCON 2021, with the Gambia making it to the quarterfinals before being eliminated by host Cameroon. The Gambia eliminated Guinea in the first knockout round and will now face them again in next year's AFCON. Despite being a tough group, the Gambia's youth and sports minister, Bakari Waibaji, remains optimistic about their journey in the tournament. Well, first, we, we congratulate everyone for having qualified again for the second time. I mean, everyone acts in the whole country, the, the team and uh, the, the GFL, the coach, and everyone that has been part of the whole process. Uh, well, the draw, yes, we've seen it. And, uh, you know, it's uh, like we say, it's just what it is. That's how anybody has seen it. Uh, are we hopeful? Yes, we are hopeful for the fact that um, we, we know we have a good team. We know we have a good players that are very determined and uh, they're always hungry to, to win. The minister applauded the coach and his entire team as he told the Fast Network that he believes the coach has the technique to win against powerhouses in football. But we also know that the, the coach has the, the technique that is necessary to win um, any team, big or small. And we've seen him do that. So we're hopeful that um, the technique that he has uh, employed in the past and uh, the, the commitment, the dedication of the players in the pitch would be replicated this time around so that we'll be able to get the victory or at least a draw with some of those teams and um, you know get to the, to the next round. And like you said, the most important thing is to get out of the group and uh, get into the, the knockout stage. And uh, we hope that we'll be able to get there. Mr. Badi stressed the significance of thoroughly preparing for the upcoming tournament scheduled in early 2024. He reiterated the government's dedication to backing the national team and providing the essential resources to guarantee a successful campaign. Coach Tom Sanfade is always under immense pressure from fans who criticize his approach to matches. While many would like to see him play more attacking football, the Belgium tactician style has proven effective for the team. According to award-winning sports journalist Lamin Del Fadera, the Scorpions may not have a chance on paper, but on the pitch, they could sting their opponents and defy all odds, depending on Sanfei's match strategies. Tom Sanfei and the type of football he wants to play and the approaches he wants to take on these matches will be very much important. I think the Gambia, yes, we have to believe in ourselves. On paper, Gambia has no chance, to be honest. But on the pitch, 90 minutes of football, Gambia has a lot of chance to make it out of this group. And I think, you know, it depends on match they want to. Perhaps, in fact, three points can get you to the next phase as best losers. So depending on what the Gambia will produce in the AFCON will be important. But the group of that, the coach will take it game by game. Mr. Fadera noted that he has been a critic of Tom's style of play, but he remains content as long as the results are satisfying. I, for one, have been a critic of the way Tom Samfe approached matches, but he's satisfied. And in football, what matters is the results. He might play negative football sometimes, but so long the results are coming on his way, I think he will be satisfied. Now, some will say, what is the point of playing good football and you are not getting the points? For example, we can play good football, go and attack, we got beaten at the end of the day, we went out of the competition, Point, fingers will be pointed on the head coach. So I think approach matters. And I think, you know, his game plan, he knows exactly what to do to remedy the solution of some of these, the like of Sergio Manes uh, and of course Co. But I think the Gambia can definitely produce. They can be the surprise package. Lamin Fadera is confident that despite being underdogs in Group C, the Gambia has what it takes to be the surprise. Bakari Jame, the fourth vice president of the Gambia Football Federation, expressed his optimism about the Gambia's chances in the competition. He cited the team's recent performances and the dedication of both players and coaching staff as reasons for his confidence. I think it was an exciting draw. Of course, certainly it's a very tough draw. Uh, it stopped the group of that. Uh, you, you said it. <laughs> and many people said exactly the same way. Uh, first, I saw this as great progress. Uh, for, for the Gambia, for the Scorpions, uh, to be shoulder to shoulder with the powerhouse of African football in our 
second Afghan it shows how far we have actually uh, came as a, as a country. This is what we have planned for at the GFF. This is what we have been working for uh, at the GFF. So that wherever there are uh, big clubs, big uh, countries, big competitions, the Gambia should always be there, being in the sub-region in Wafu or AFCON or even at the, at the World Cup. So from a personal point of view, I feel uh, excited. I know it's a daunting task, uh, but uh, let's look at where we are as a footballing nation in 2023 uh, compared to where we were in the past. The GFF vice president expressed the Federation's commitment to developing youth and strengthening the national team in preparation for the AFCON 2024 and beyond. Cote d'Ivoire has given us the opportunity to write more history and even make the lives of our footballers even better. The Gambia's national football team faces tough competition in the upcoming AFCON tournament. They will play against group stage opponents Senegal, Cameroon and Guinea who are ranked much higher than them. However, the most exciting match will be against their rivals and AFCON holders Senegal who have star players such as rising African footballer of the year Sergio Mane and Edouard Mendy. I think um, it's a draw that caught a lot of people with surprise. It's a difficult draw, like they said, it's the group of death. Um, Senegal defending champion, one of the best team, if not the best in Africa. Cameroon, five time winners of the AFCON and of course one of the toughest in the African continent. And of course we have also seen Gine Conakry, yes, uh, they might not be powerhouse, but they can also you know, go for a revenge. And I think it's going to be a difficult draw. Little Gambia, yes, I remember when we made our debut in the AFCON in 2021, um, a lot of people don't know about the Gambia. You know, no one expected that the Gambia will have gone up to the last eight. They were drawn with the lives of Tunisia, Mauritania, and Mali. And Gambia defied all the odds with seven points, taking second position, qualified to the last 16, beat Gene Conakry then to the last eight and they were knocked out by Cameroon two goals to nail. Another match to watch out for is against Guinea who will seek revenge after the Gambia beat them 1-0 in the knockout stage of the 2021 Afghan. The expectation is always high regarding uh, Gambia in this group stage which we know that uh, we have a tough opponent which is Senegal, Cameroon and Guinea. But as you can see, the last uh, group stage, I think it was round of 16, Gambia make it through after beating Guinea. So it's all about football, and football, you need to spend in sport in general. So I think we will make it through. We will make it. For me, my advice to the coach, let him focus on the boys. Let him play the boys, and let him play the players that he thinks they are fit for that position. We have recently we have been seeing in selection most of the players are not meant to be there, so we don't have to say much. We we'll talk about um, what coach has to do, what he has not to do. So we just have to wait for him and see what he's going to give us. Well, no, no, like football, football they 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 bole, do do jahase, do tahale. So I guess you watch football. Really, you have to make frontier. Then you are sending it to our generation. So you need bole. Football <laughs> The entire nation is celebrating the team's qualification for the tournament and there is growing anticipation for AFCON 2024. The team's success has not only made history for Gambian football but also brought a sense of national pride and unity beyond the field. The whole country will be rooting for the Scorpions as they embark on their AFCON journey with hopes of making new history. <laughs>